Well, good morning, Montpetit. What a beautiful day it is. And today we're in the car, driving down the lanes. This one's looking gorgeous in his summer attire. We finally got out some summer pieces for you. Hello. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Although actually, almost not the morning right now we are actually it's been a bit of a slow morning this morning it's been lovely and chilled and relaxed we're actually heading out today for lunch with two of our favorite people we're going to see emily and james because i just can't get enough of emily's company i know i literally had the full bridal day with her the other day and it was so much fun we've been texting non-stop since she was asking if i was going to show the dresses to alex which i was like of course i have to show him the dresses i just don't know how people do it i feel like when it comes to actually choosing the dress i don't know how i'm going to keep it from you because all I want to do is like share things with you, show things to you. I feel exactly the same about my suit. I'm just gonna want to take pictures and just show you my suit. <laughs> but it's gonna be so hard not to. Because I want it to be a big grand to. surprise to you and everyone as I walk Imagine if you island. like rocked up in like a neon suit and kill yeah. you. <laughs> no, I, I'm not going that. I'm going um, Italian uh, gangster with a white oh my God, um, imagine. blazer and black bow tie. <laughs> to be fair, the real question actually is, do you do your Scottish tartan? Do you do a kilt? That is the real question. If we get married in Scotland, sure. <laughs> But yes, so we are en route to go and see Emily and James, which we're so, so excited about. We are heading to Stockbridge, which is a beautiful little area here in Hampshire, which actually, I say it's a beautiful area. I've only heard it's a beautiful area. It's another area I've not actually visited before, and you've not been to either, have you? No. So I'm really excited to go there, because it's really nice being able to explore new locations. Like, I think I've said this before throughout Everyday May, but it's so nice despite the fact that i was obviously born and raised in hampshire there's so many areas i've not discovered and i've not actually like gone to visit gone to god i washed my hair this morning and it's looking it's just going so flat i feel like it's gone almost like too soft and silky maybe i left my conditioner in for a little bit too long maybe i didn't rinse it out properly so sorry that i keep fiddling with my hair but um yeah it's really nice just to like discover new areas discover new places and i've said it before but emily's the best at like showing me new areas that i've not actually been before especially in more kind of like north hampshire area not as in like north hampshire but as in north in hampshire if that makes sense oh there's new lemurs at Paulton's park there's so new there's lemurs a, there's a sign back there yeah oh my gosh let's go Can we? <laughs> actually like i used serious. to go to uh, do you know what i love that Paulton's park is actually becoming such a like popular destination now i know so many people that go there because of Pepper pig world with their kids because that is literally where i spent my childhood and we loved it we had season tickets we'd be there almost every weekend not even always going on the ride sometimes we'd literally just go to like play in the little like splash play the like wet zone sometimes it would just be to go and have like a picnic like they had caves i don't know if they're still there i'm not sure i've not been literally since i was probably about 10 years old um but every time we go near Paulson's park it always just reminds me of my childhood and i would love to one day take you i mean I don't really feel like there's much point. Whilst we're adults, we need to have some children with us. Maybe we can invite your ne nieces down. We can go as adults. Do you think? Yeah. It's not like Disney where it's like, you know, you do go as adults. Like if you're a Disney adult, it's very much like a, you go if you've got kids. Well, I feel like we need to invite your nieces down. Well, we'll probably get some funny looks, but... <laughs> Yeah. But who cares? Also, the donuts at Paulson's Park. I hope they're the same. Do you remember the kind of donuts that you'd get where they were like sugar donuts? Oh my god, they were just incredible. I, mean, I still have dreams about those donuts. To be honest, ever since I uh, tried Krispy Kreme donuts, it's just changed my life. Oh, it's... they're better than Krispy Kreme. I'm nah, telling you now. I've, I've like... never had any other donut that's better <laughs> than Krispy Kreme. They are honestly incredible. Um, so. Is it Krispy Kreme or Krispy Kreme? I think it's either or. Like. I think it's Krispy Kreme. I think I say Krispy Kreme. Maybe I say Krispy Kreme. Oh, it's one of those where now that you've said it, I don't know what I actually say. Oh. <laughs> Comment down below, Krispy Kreme or Krispy Kreme. But my gosh, this is a bumpy ride. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a lovely day. It's beautifully sunny. We're gonna spend the day outside. We're going for a, a little bit of an early lunch, actually. We've got a reservation at like quarter past 12. Um, so we're going for lunch, which will be so, so nice at the Mayfly in Stockbridge. And then just a lovely day spent with two of our favorite people, with Emily and James. So really, really looking forward to it. We have just arrived at the Mayfly now, and look how gorgeous this is. We are literally right on the riverfront, 
Emily's just texted to say that they've got a table on the terrace. I think we're just gonna go around and go and meet them. Oh my gosh, we've just got the perfect spot underneath the big oak tree. Look who it is! As if we haven't seen enough of you already. Oh my goodness me. I feel like we've just got the perfect spot over the river. This is just absolutely stunning. Well, that was such a delicious lunch. Do, have you seen how long we were there, by the way? We were literally there almost three hours, like two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. <laughs> so Thank goodness we booked an early lunch as well, otherwise I feel like literally. we may as well have just gone straight for dinner. <laughs> I, was saying, I was saying that to you earlier, wasn't I? That like, we were like, oh, it's a really early, really early It's a really early lunch. Thank really? goodness we did that. Do you know what's really funny? It's vlogging next to you as well as how high I am, like, on the camera. <laughs> yeah, could you just, like, crouch as we walk, please? Always. Make it a lot better. Um, but we've come down to Stockbridge, Stockbridge High Street. Yes. Yes, which is famous for trout oh, fishing, yeah. which is really fun. <laughs> but it feels very, it really reminds me of Burford High Street in the Cotswolds. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. it's Especially so on a day like today. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna go for a little wander and explore. This is oh, one of the shops. Oh, right. Gardens of the National Trust. I think we need that book. Yes. Do you know what? I, I almost want to play like National Trust bingo. Like take them all off the list and like discover loads of new ones. I can't wait for the roses to come out of Mottisfan. Oh, so it yes. was like oh beautiful. Yes. yes. In tune. Oh. We need to book a little visit together. Let's do it. <laughs> We found, we literally found our perfect store, the Garden Inn. Oh my goodness. Also, can you hear the wedding bells? Makes me so happy. They've got the most beautiful little cloches. How stunning is that? I think I need that to um, protect the flowers from all of the slugs at the moment. Do cloches stop slugs or would they just crawl inside of that? I don't know. I don't know if it's maybe like a deterrent. I think they'll probably be able to get through, but they yeah. might look at it. It might help. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to keep putting down like pesticides or chemicals or anything it's not good for the plants but how cute these little baskets oh my gosh okay we might we may be stuck here for a little while <laughs> oh these are beautiful i do love penis it's actually a really good price as well for a bouquet of peonies might give out alex a little nudge before my birthday <laughs> oh my gosh this smells absolutely amazing gardener's hand wash <gasps> sting in the tail that's incredible oh my gosh Oh, I do love a little trug. Oh, I'm excited to get my trug out again. Oh, they are gorgeous. Yeah, it's like, um... Sorry, William Morris. Oh, yeah, because Oh, it is. it's William Morris, that will be why. <laughs> okay, I think we need to um, forget about my lemon theme and switch up for a strawberry theme. Look at these, the little pots. <gasps> these jugs are gorgeous. I have never seen anything like this before. A rocking chair for the garden. I love it. That's actually amazing. We are such grannies. How much would we love it? Both having one in each That's of our gardens. Amazing. We can come over and visit, have a cup of tea. A pair of those. Literally. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I also really love this climate behind it. That's beautiful as well. You weren't joking. This really is famous for their trout. Emily's yeah, just trout. taking me to this little spot. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but you can see the little trout swimming along in here and the church bells are still going it's literally making us emotional it's so lovely i'm so glad they've got a good day as well for their wedding beautiful sunshine oh i love this oh my gosh stunning let's pop inside oh my gosh this is adorable is that a candle oh, that's so cute i mean for the honeymoon that would be perfect i love the like I was gonna say I really love the detail to it. They are the most aesthetic playing cards I have ever laid my eyes on. Look at that. Hydrangea playing cards. <gasps> wow. Look at this rose house. Oh my gosh. How old do you think these roses are? It like covers the whole thing. They are beautiful. <gasps> look at them. Oh wow, look at that door knocker as well. A little fishy. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout. <gasps> It's all connected. It's all connected. Wow. That is literally goals. A cool car. What, what did you say it was, sorry? It's a Morgan. A Morgan? What's really cool and special about it is every part of it is handcrafted. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Morgan. It's not factory it's made. It's gorgeous. Every part of it is handmade. Is that the dream car for you? Yeah, they are beautiful. It's gorgeous. Just got home now after the loveliest day out with Em and James. We always have the best time with those two. You know those couple friends where you can just 
while away the hours. You can just spend so long just chatting away, having some lunch, having some drinks, and just having the best time. It ended up actually becoming a little bit of an impromptu early birthday celebration because I completely, I don't know what it is, but I feel like despite the fact that I'm well aware that my birthday is coming up, I kind of forgot that I wasn't really going to see the two of them before my actual birthday. So Em was so, so cute and kind of turned it into an early birthday celebration. She even gave me a little gift to take away with me, which was just the loveliest thing. When we went down the high street actually as well, we were doing a little bit of shopping and we ended up leaving the boys in this little whiskey store. I can't remember the name of it, but I actually think it's one of the smartest things ever because it's basically a whiskey store that has like a little bar inside of it. So we basically just plonked the boys down in there. They ended up doing a little bit of whiskey tasting, which they absolutely adore because they had some of their favorite whiskeys in there. I know Abafeldi is one of Alex's favorites. They had like the Glen Coes, the Glenfields, like all of the best whiskeys in there. And they also had like a little gin section as well. Apparently they do gin tasting, which I think is so, so cute. Um, but yeah, we just plonked the boys down in there and then basically just had a little bit of girl time afterwards, which was so, so lovely and a bit of an impromptu birthday celebration so i've got a little card which is my first birthday card of the year which is so so lovely just a little happy birthday from em which is just honestly the sweetest and let me show you what she bought me because this is honestly i think one of the most thoughtful gifts Ever. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. This is from the Just Slate company, which we do actually already have something from this. We've got our Lazy Susan from the Just Slate company. And I absolutely love it. It just is like so perfect whenever you're hosting, whenever you've got like guest rounds. And she actually treated me to a cheese board. And I don't know if you can see from that photo there. It is a highlight cow cheese board. So let me open it up because it is absolutely beautiful. It's so heavy as well. And you know how much we love our cheese and wine nights. And I just think having like a lovely, luxurious cheese board to bring out when you've got guests over is just the best thing in the world. He's just the cutest thing in the world. If you're new around here, I know we've got a lot of new faces since Everyday May started. You might not know this very random fact about me, but I love Highland Coos. I absolutely adore them. I just think they are the cutest thing in the world. Alex and I have a lot of Scottish heritage. We've got loads of connections to Scotland. I mean, as you know, we got engaged on the Isle of Skye. Our favourite place in the world to visit is always Edinburgh. We absolutely love it. I think it, that may have actually been the first kind of like holiday we took together as a couple. I remember it was the first Valentine's we spent together and we decided just to do a couple of nights up in Edinburgh and it was so, so magical. So Highland Coos are honestly my favourite and actually it was this time last year for my birthday. Alex found one of the only farms in England that has Highland Coos and we went and met a couple of Highland Coos last year. It was just my favourite thing in the world and it's always so lovely when people just know you so, so well. So Em knows me so well. She knows how much I love this brand. She knows how much I love my cheese and of course how much I love Highland Coos. So we've already named him. His name is Bruce. And that's another thing we always love to name our Highland Coos around here. So a gorgeous little Highland Coos. And then also it comes with a little cheese knife, which I've not actually opened up. I opened up the, um, the board at the restaurant just because I was so excited about it. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to see this little Highland Coo in real life. But also, I don't think we own a cheese knife. I mean, how beautiful is that? I always love it when it's got the little bit at the end so that you can stab the cheese and take it and did you know actually i found this out recently a bit of an etiquette fact whenever it comes to cheese night so if you're going around to a friends for wine and cheese this, this is a good fact to know especially when it comes to good cheese etiquette but when you cut the cheese you're not supposed to cut it so if it's in like a triangle you do not cut the end of the cheese so apparently the best bit is that bit on the end the best bit is the middle and so like as it gets further out to the outside that's kind of like the worst bit of the cheese so you're supposed to cut it along the edge of the triangle so almost like pizza slices is how you're supposed to cut cheese because if you cut the end you've basically just taken the best bit of the cheese and left everyone else with the worst bit and then it also means that by the time you've got to like the end of the cheese the last person to have got any is only getting the worst part of the cheese so a little bit of an etiquette fact for you do not cut the end of the triangle cut it in like pizza slices if ever you are at a wine and a cheese night um but yeah i'm so excited so i just like want to have some friends over i want to host a wine and cheese night now because it's honestly so so gorgeous and just such a fun day as i said that turned into a bit of an impromptu birthday celebration with two of our favorite people just the perfect way to spend the sun
I am not joking when I say we have an obsession with Highland Coos, pretty obviously from our beautiful painting that we have up on our wall. I do find that art is just like so unique and so personal to you. And when we saw this, we just had to pick it up. And I always feel like it's such a feature point in the house. And it's something that people always comment on whenever they come and visit. So if you haven't seen this before, if you're new, this is our beautiful Highland Coo painting that we call Sky. She has a name. We've named all of our Highland Coos around the house, actually. I might take you on a little bit of a tour of our Highland Coos because we have quite a few around the house and I just absolutely love them. Like, friends and family now know. In fact, so many of you guys, it makes me so happy, will send me little Highland Coo things that you find. Like, if you see something, like, I know Next Home has a literal, like, collection of Highland Coos. The amount of times I get DMs from you guys being like, Ellie, I saw this in the store and I thought of you and it's just my favourite thing in the world. Um, but I think we must have picked this up just after getting engaged, just after the holiday because we ended up calling her Sky. And I think it's because we went to the Isle of Skye. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, but if you have followed since the old house, this used to sit above our sofa and I love the colours in here. I absolutely adore the kind of like purpley background. I think it's just so, so beautiful. It matches with the wall colour really, really well as well. And it came with the frame, which I do adore because I think the white, honestly, it's one of my favourite things in this house. The colour that we went for on the walls, the natural hessian next to the white just goes so beautifully together. I absolutely love it. But this is a painting that... You're not going to believe me when I tell you where it is from. There is one place that I love going whenever it comes to picking up new paintings to add around the house, and that is HomeSense. That's right, we picked her up from HomeSense. And one thing I love about HomeSense is obviously how like unique the pieces are. Like you can come in sometimes and not find anything. You can come in sometimes and oh my gosh, you are blown away with the art collection that they've got there. And they've got so many gorgeous, like unique individual pieces. And it's also so much more affordable. And people never believe me when I tell them that this is from HomeSense because it just looks so amazing like it is a real painting you can see the like brush strokes on it which i absolutely love the detailing to the way that the highland coo has been painted and of course we've got the um the artist's signature coal coal burn potentially i'm not entirely sure but i always feel like seeing the artist's signature really helps with regards to like the prestige of the painting um but yeah we absolutely love her a few of you actually suggested moving her into the kitchen when we first moved in and we did try that but we find the kitchen needs like more of a landscape print because it's a square it just didn't really work in that space whereas I feel like it works so well here this is just like a little nook I used to keep the chair here but I kind of switched it up a little bit so I've got this gorgeous ottoman which was um actually handmade for me by my grandpa which I absolutely love it so it's completely unique it's completely bespoke I just added it with a little cushion from Ultimate Home and then the basket that we got gifted from Hobbs a little picnic basket so I'm not entirely sure where else to put it at the moment um but it's a really great one to, for storage I always love these for like storing things like board games or like um it's a great one if you put if you have it like by the dining table to put in the placemats before you set the table it's a really really great one um but yeah i love this little corner here and we love sky she's one of my favorites so let's take you on a little tour of the highland coos around the house highland coo number two is this little guy here now we called him hamish because i just think that's such a good name for a highland coo very scottish name he's this gorgeous like porcelain little highland coo which was actually a very very kind engagement gift which is just so so lovely because obviously we got engaged up in the Isle of Skye. Our family wanted to remind us that we will always have that Scottish heritage and that Scottish connection. So they gave us this, which was honestly just such a sweet gift. And I love him so, so much. He's always lived in our kitchen. Um, he used to live on the kitchen island in the old house. And now he lives on at the little windowsill. And I just love the way that he's kind of like encompassed within the natural like herbs and the kitchen um, like plants that we've got. I think I need to give this basil a bit of a water. Actually, you're looking a little bit droopy. I might give that a quick water now um, whilst we're here. But yeah, this is Hamish. We love him so, so much. He's just such a cute little unique Highland Coo and another one we adore. We then have these two cuties right here, which I've just popped on a little kind of tray. We've got them decorated with a candle. We keep them by the front door and we always say that they look over the house. So we've named these two as well. And these were also actually picked up in the Isle of Skye, which honestly is just so special. Alex actually treated me to these. It was just before he proposed. So I think he was like thinking of it as like a bit of a, memento just before you know when it's like oh it was just before i knew what was going to be happening so we've called these angus and abel and we love them we've got a little kind of like dark brown one and then a really gorgeous like cheshire brown one which i just think is absolutely beautiful like a chestnut color he is one of my absolute favorites as well oh and then lastly i can't forget our little highland coo coasters that we keep on the kitchen table i always think it's really lovely to have coasters really accessible whenever you have guests over because then when you just sit down have a cup of coffee they don't need to like ask um, and we do need to like protect um the table that we've got here we haven't actually named these ones but i'm pretty sure i picked these up in edinburgh when i went at christmas time maybe 
I think I bought these from Edinburgh and I absolutely love them. They've got this really gorgeous like floral detailing to them. I kind of wish I'd got more, but it came in like a pack of three and I didn't pick any more up from that. I wish I'd gone for like two packs that I had six of them because they're absolutely gorgeous and I've never been able to find them since. Um, but I love the kind of like almost like sagey green background oh they're just absolutely beautiful so yeah you can tell we really are big fans of Highland Poo's in this household I think it is safe to say that this parcel that just arrived is also gonna count as an early birthday gift because I adore Elemis products and actually when it comes to my skincare I feel like Elemis is always one of those brands it's just they always hit the nail on the head with their skincare and it always just feels so so lovely on my skin and I know we've been talking lots just about getting your skin like summer ready and just kind of like starting from the ground up whenever it comes to your summer skincare your summer makeup your summer beauty so I thought we could unbox this together and I can show you what is inside because this from oh, I hate it when that doesn't <laughs> And it just doesn't fully open up. We have a couple of products here that are pop-ups of my favourite range from Elemis, the Rose range. The Elemis do such a beautiful range and honestly, I just absolutely adore it. So we've got two products here, one of which is something that every single summer I absolutely adore. I literally will keep this in my summer handbag with me and that is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Hydro Mist. If you are looking for a beautiful facial mist, this is my absolute favorite. So it is a hydrating serum in mist for dehydrated dull skin. It is English Rose Microlage and hydrates, soothes and replenishes. And let me show you the bottle because first of all, the bottle is beautiful. Like I absolutely adore the packaging of this. I quite like the fact that it's in like a plastic bottle because a lot of the mists that I have for summer are in like glass bottles. They're really big, they're really heavy and it just means that you can't like travel with them. You can't take them with you. Whereas I really love the fact that you can take this with you because it's super lightweight and super easy to use. I'm actually gonna spritz a little bit on my face now because I'm gonna take my makeup off in a minute and oh my gosh. Mm, it is always just one of my favorites. I feel like it just wakes up your skin so, so nicely. I love the scent of this as well. And I just love the rose collection that Elemis do. I'll leave a link to the entire Pro Collagen Rose range because it just smells absolutely incredible and really does feel like a treat for your skin. So I picked up the little Hydro Mist and then I also picked up, very excitingly, something that I've not tried before, but again, from the Rose range. So this is the Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. It's a soothing facial oil with Padina Pavonica, English Rose, Roaring Water Kelp, and it soothes, nourishes, and renews. And I've been really looking for a new facial oil recently because so I've been really kind of sticking to like serums quite a lot recently, but especially in the evening, I just often want something that's like a little bit more than a serum. And I've heard that this is a really nice oil because it's not like a really greasy oil. Um, like it says here on the back, actually, let me read this out to you because I always think it's really interesting to kind of read the actual like instructions and what it says about it. Because it says here to massage three to four drops over the face and neck, the soothing facial oil nourishes and renews the skin. So hopefully this will be a really, really lovely one. I might actually use a little bit on the back of my hand, but can we just talk about that packaging? I mean, how beautiful is that? The like rosy tones, the pink hues in the bottle. <sighs> which is absolutely obsessed. So I'm just gonna do a little dot on the back of my hand just to kind of get an idea of like how oily it actually is. Cause I don't like oils that are too oily, which I know sounds really ironic, but oh, it smells the exact same as the mist that I put on. Can you see that? That's a very like watery based oil, which is exactly what I was looking for. I just don't want anything too greasy. I don't want it to like clog my pores. Cause I have been told by facialists in the past that I've been using a lot of products that like really claw, 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 no? pore clogging <laughs> that was the sentence i was going for oh it smells absolutely incredible and that actually has soaked in really really quickly on at the back of my hand it doesn't feel greasy it just feels really like hydrating which is exactly what i was looking for so i think this might just be added into my skincare routine for a little bit of a hit of hydration in the evenings it's always my favorite thing about picking up a new skincare is that excitement that you feel to actually do your skincare routine does anyone else get like that especially if it's like a new product that you've not actually tried before i mean i know how much i adore this facial mist and especially with the fact that we are due some warmer weather in June which is very very exciting I know that this is just going to live in my handbag I just always take it with me because it's so lovely just to give yourself that hit of hydration I always find whenever people say to me that oh my skin's feeling a little bit dry or like you know you've been out all day especially if you feel like a little bit sweaty this is such a beautiful one to mist on your skin and I think this oil is going to be an amazing addition into my routine and it's going to really help with that like dewy hydrated glow that I'm looking to get from my 
skincare i'm hoping that this is just going to give me that real like hit of hydration in the evenings this is definitely more of like an evening product rather than a morning product which speaking of I might actually just head into the bathroom now and give myself a little bit of a pamper and do like a really in-depth skincare routine. In fact, I actually might run myself a bath because is there anything better than a Sunday evening bath, especially after just the loveliest day today? I know I didn't start the vlog till a little bit late because obviously we were out celebrating my brother's birthday yesterday, but today's just been the best day. Ended up being a little bit of an impromptu birthday celebration, which I was not expecting and just the loveliest gifts, the loveliest company and just the loveliest day so what better way to end it than a lovely relaxing bubble bath so if you got to the end of this video comment bubble bath down below in your comment and i will see you tomorrow for another day of everyday may good night